want to show you what you need to do, what are your next steps if you've just ordered a one-click website with us. So the first thing you need to do is log into idxanalyst.com. The way you log in is by you seeing your IDX Burger API. I'm going to log in to an IDX add-ons account. And once I'm logged in here, I'm going to go to the apps section. I'm going to scroll down to the lead connector one-click website. This is the fourth option under the lead connector row of apps. So I'm going to click on that. And since I've already purchased the one-click website, I'm going to see this go to one-click settings button. So I need to click on that one and it's going to ask me to connect my high level account. It's important that you connect a sub account. Um, it's not possible to connect an agency account from high level. So I'm gonna click here on connect high level. And since I'm already logged into my high level account, it's going to give me the options of the sub accounts that I have. Um, in this case, I'm gonna use this one. It's a test account, so I'm gonna click on that. And it's going to send me to a multi-step form that I need to fill out. It's going to ask me some questions. So I'm going to click start now. We selected the Astra design, right? So this one is, it's the one that's selected. I'm going to click next. Right here, we're able to select our primary color. Um, we can select any color from right here. Our secondary colors, you can change that if you want it to match your branding. In this case, I'm just going to leave it black as it is. I'm going to hit next. What would you like to call your website? Let's name it something different. I'm going to put Vienna test one click and then hit next. By default, you're going to have all the um, widgets selected that are part of your website template. We recommend leaving them all checked marked but if there is one that you do not want to feature on your website you can unselect it right here so i'm going to keep all of them and just click next and it's going to say connect it to sub account and it's going to give you the name of the sub account i'm going to hit next that's okay if you have a high level form already in high level uh, you're going to see the options right here. In this case, I don't have any, so I'm just going to click next. And then property types, I'm going to, it's, it's selected all property types. I'm going to click next. And it's going to ask me to choose my community. So these are based on a city or a county. I'm going to leave the city. And then I'm going to choose this one and hit next. It's going to ask me for a secondary community. So I'm still going to keep the uh, city and I'm going to select this one, Brandon. So I'm going to hit next and it's going to ask me for a third community. Um, same, I'm going to do a city and let's do Delray Beach and hit next. It's going to start creating the community pages based on the cities or counties that I've selected. So we have to give the system a minute. It's, it's finishing that up. It's now adding the widgets to the second community, generating the content, and it's finished with that one. And it's going to start creating the content and adding the widgets for the third community. It's finishing up the third community. It's going to take a minute or two to get this set up. And once it's created the content for the website and the community pages, it's going to take you to this. So right here, you created the custom values inside of high level, and you've completed the multi-step form. It's providing you with a template link. If you click on it, it's going to ask you where you want to clone the template. So to clone the template, you have to click on this template link. Um, it is important for you to know that in order for you to be able to clone the website on the sub account inside of high level, you need to be logged in with the app.gohighlevel.com URL. If you have a white label domain with high level, you will need to log out 
log in with the same credentials that you have, but just using the app.gohighlevel.com URL. If not, it this template link, it's not going to work. So if I click on this, it's gonna take me to high level. It's gonna say copy Astra. So I'm gonna add, click add a website and it's gonna ask me on what location I want to clone this. So in this case, I'm going to take this one, Diana test, and I'm going to hit clone website. So right now it's cloning and it should take me back to high level. I'm just going to refresh this web, this page. So I'm going to switch sub accounts to the one that I selected. I'm going to go to sites, website, and I should have the one that I just created, which is this one. I have some other ones in there, but this is the one that we just created right now. So if I click on it, I've already cloned the template on the sub account. Once the website is cloned, that's all you need to do. Um, we will then after start working on the IDX integration, all you need to do is let us know that you've cloned the templates sent over to us, um, access admin access to your sub account, access to your IDX broker account. Um, but we'll make sure to send you an email with the information that we need from you. Once, um, we have that information. It's going to take us one to two business days to deliver a fully in IDX integrated website to you. So that's all you need to do. If you have any questions or doubts about this process, feel free to send us an email to support at realtycandy.com and someone from our team will be happy to help you out. Mm -hmm.